everybody. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully you guys can see me. My camera's over here, just so you guys know. <laughs> That's why I usually look over here, even though my camera's here. I'm not busy. Um, so welcome to your first barber's class today, guys. This class is essentially going to be bar-based movement, so it's going to be strictly lower body today. A little bit of core. Um, we're really just going to focus on the quads, the thighs, the calves, all of it. If you took my bar class yesterday and you're feeling a little sore, that's okay, so am I. But this is also really good to help stretch and keep those muscles moving. So we got 10 exercises today, or a little bit of a combo of 10, and we are just going to move through them many times as we can before class is over. So let's get our warm up going. Let me get my timer. All right. Let's warm those legs up. Let's start standing with our feet facing out to the sides. We're gonna bring those arms up and reach. Take that nice big stretch like you just woke up. And lean a little bit over to the side. And a little bit up and over. Think of lifting up out of your rib cage to go up and over. And bring those arms down. Arms up and back. And same thing, other direction. Pull it around. Go ahead and take it down into a nice little squat. Let's start to stretch out those legs a little bit. Doing it already. Warm up those legs. Let's do two more. Go ahead and bring that heel up to your butt for some butt kicks. Just to stretch out the front of those quads. A little bit of hamstring activation here. All right, bring those knees up in front. Nice. Strong core, lift, knees up. All right, last one. And from here, we're gonna take it back into our squat position. You're gonna bring it forward, toes or <laughs> fingertips to the floor. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. From here, you're gonna Bring it down, squat, hold, arms come up, and stand. Repeat. Bring your hands down to the floor, sit your hips down, chest lift up, arms one at a time, and up for this two more times. So, hinge it forward. You call these the Ken. And try to get a little bit lower in that squat every time. Back up, last one. From here, we're just going to bring it down. Rest those elbows on your legs or your hands if you can't get down all the way. And just hold it here. Really open those knees. Press them apart. All right, roll it up. All right, we're going to start with calf raises. Get it nice and warm. We have 40 seconds of calf raises. So we're going to start in our parallel position. You can hold on to something or nothing at all. If you're not holding on to anything, I want your hands either on your hips, down, wherever is steady for you. So parallel, pull that core in, keep your glutes squeezed. We're going to lift and down, lift, down. You can go a little bit faster if you want to work it a little bit more. Trying to get up onto those toes as high as you can. Keeping that core pulled in, keeping those ankles in line. Try not to let them splay out to the sides. Try to keep them straight. Three, two, one, and go up and hold. Let's take a balance here. Try to balance on your toes. And release, shake it out. We're gonna go into 
a first position. So open up the toes into a nice little V. Tuck that, <laughs> tuck your hips underneath. And from here, roll up onto the toes and back down. Rolling as high up as you can on those toes. Really squeezing your quad muscles and your calf muscles. But they're really working. 10 seconds. And go up and balance. Hold it. Get up as high as you can. And bring it down. Shake out those legs. We have our second position, which is our last one in this little series. So a little bit wider than shoulder width. These ones are, I think, always the hardest for me. All right, nice tight core. Here we go. Lift the heels up and down. Lift. Controlly coming down. Woo. 20 seconds left. We have a squat coming up next into a lunge. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Go up and hold. Take your arms out, like bring them up, whatever you want. Test your balance. And bring it down. Go ahead and take that right foot, bring it out in front of you, take a nice little stretch. And same thing with that left. All right. We are gonna do a squat to lunge combo. Just to make sure our legs are very warm for our next exercises. So from here, it's going to be a squat, a body weight squat. So whatever type of squat you want, you don't have to go down super low. Squat, you stand up. That right leg is gonna come behind into a lunge. Places it back. Squat, left leg, behind, lunge. Place it back. So we're just alternating between those three. For 40 seconds. <clears throat> Take a second to breathe. Make sure you have some space. And if you wanna use something to hold onto, a chair, table, anything sturdy. That is also perfectly fine for some stability. All right, let's start our squat position. Down nice and tall. Here we go, sit those hips back. Press through your heels, stand it up. Bring it back. Take it slow. And watch that front knee in those lunges. Think butt back during that squat. Five seconds. And break. All right. Ooh, two more squats. All right. Take a second to catch your breath. All right, we're gonna go into a nice wide sumo squat position. Arms come out. Toes are pointing outwards. We're gonna bring it down into a nice low squat position. We're gonna hold. Holding this position, really feel the weight in your heels. From here, stand it back up and down. One, up, two, Three, four, five. Think of pressing those knees straight out. And go down and hold. You bring the arms out. Keep that chest up. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Shake out those legs. All right, you got 30 seconds to go grab some water. 
just a second to breathe before we move to our next one. All right, so we have some leg raises. So if you have something to hold on to for these, something close by, this is one of those good ones where you wanna kind of hold on to something. You can totally do it standing, holding on to nothing, what you're saying. So we're gonna start with our right leg. These are really gonna focus on our quad muscles, those hip flexors and your lower core as well. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna start facing this way. Let's go ahead and start in parallel. Nice tight core, bring that right foot, stick it right out in front of you. So they look pretty simple, but they're not. They do get hard after a minute. So from here, I want you to focus on squeezing that quad muscle. So if you were to touch your leg, you should feel the difference between squeezing it and not squeezing it. So from here, we're just gonna lift it up and down. I want you to keep it as straight as you can. Lifting and lowering. The goal here is the control. We're not swinging our bodies forward or back to get that leg up there. It doesn't need to go up super high. You can keep it at 45. But we are just lifting and lowering. Keeping that core nice and strong. Three, two, one, I want you to go and lift that leg and hold it out in front of you. Hold it. Keep that quad squeezed. Hold it. Three, two, one. Lift it up a little higher to come down and then shake it out. We're going to repeat on the side. So from our side position, that leg doesn't stick straight out to the side. I want it kind of on that diagonal. So if you put it straight in front of you, move it to like two o'clock. If that makes sense. <laughs> so same thing, we're just gonna focus on lifting that leg on the diagonal, so about here. Go ahead and keep lifting that leg on your diagonal. And remember, it doesn't need to go up super high. We are not all professional ballerinas here. <laughs> but we wanna work those inner thighs and that quad muscle. Keep it going. I'm sweating already. Ooh. Three more. Two. One. Go out and hold it. Oh. Scream on the inside. Hold it. Really, really, really hold. And lift it a little bit higher. Ooh. And then bring it down. That lift is to just really, really do you in on that one. All right. Last one is to the back. So that right leg is gonna stick straight out to the back. If you would like, you can point that knee out just a little bit. You don't need to keep it completely turned in. You can turn it out a tiny bit. And this is gonna be a smaller movement. It's not gonna be coming up super high. The goal here is to lean just a little bit forward. We don't wanna be too far forward. And from here, it's just gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Wherever it stops is where you squeeze that glute muscle. Lift, lower, lift, lower. If you want to feel like a beautiful ballerina, you can bring your arm forward. <laughs> or you can just keep it down. Keep lifting that leg. You should also be starting to feel this in that left hip that's not working as well. And hold it at the top. Hold, three, two, one, lift to lower. Big breath out. Shake out those legs, we are gonna repeat on the other side. Take a second, you can take your right leg and hold behind the ankle and give that quad a little stretch before we do our left side. Here we go. Standing up nice and tall, parallel position. Pull that core in, left foot comes out. And from here, lift, lower. Three, 
I want you to control it coming down so that we're not letting it just flop down. Chest is nice and tall. And go out and hold. Hold it. Really squeeze that muscle for three, two, one. Lift to lower. Shake it up. All right, we're going to go to the side. So feel free to stand in also a first position when you're going to the side. Optional. <laughs> Point that foot out to. You can bring it to the side and then bring it a little bit forward and that should be the right position you should feel it in. All right, from here, lift and lower. Remember if you're not super flexible and you feel like you can't get that leg up there, just a tiny little inch off the ground is also totally fine. These are not easy. And lift and hold. Hover that foot off the ground. Three, two, one, lift a little higher. And bring it down. All right, we're gonna go to back. Left leg behind. Sitting up nice and tall. Here we go, squeeze, lift, down. Lift, down. And keep that chest up the best you can. That right hip is feeling it. We got five seconds. And lift and hold. Hold that leg there. Three, two, one, lift and lower. All right, good job. Shake out those legs. Take a second if you'd like to stretch your left side. Go ahead and grab behind that foot. And stretch it out. Pretty soon you guys will have some good height there. <laughs> All right, we are gonna make our way down to the floor for the rest of today's class. So the rest of today's class is going to be pretty hamstring and glute and hip focused. <clears throat> we want to properly train our glute muscles, not just for aesthetics, but for functionality. We want strong glutes. All right, so we're gonna do a combo. We are going to start in our donkey kick on our hands and knees. I'm actually going to do these on my elbows, so feel free to join me on the elbows, especially if you have sensitive wrists. And this will also make the exercise a little bit harder. So from here, I'm going to start with my right leg. I'm going to bring it down onto my elbows, hands flat on the floor. From here, pull that core in, bring that right foot up into a nice 90 degree angle and flex that foot. You're gonna bring it underneath and all the way up to where it stops and that's where you squeeze that muscle. And repeat. We have 30 more seconds on this leg. Keep it going. Staying strong in your shoulder. And squeezing at the top. Bring it up to the top and hold that leg up there. I want you to pulse it. Small movement. Oh, there's a bug on my mat. Not today. <laughs> Keep pulsing that leg up there. Small movement. Think lift, lift, push and push. Keep it going for three, two, one, and bring it down. Rock it back to a child pose. Ew. 
Okay, we are gonna go ahead to our other side. All right. Make sure their shoulders are right above your elbows. And left foot comes up, flex that butt. And here we go, bring it down. And lift. Try not to let your back arch when that leg comes up. Really focus on that leg being the only thing moving. All right, lift it to the top. Hold it there and pulse. Push up. For so five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, rock it back. All right, big breath in. We have some rainbows. Okay, rainbows and straight leg lifts in the same position. So I'm gonna turn you know, knock over my plant. So it's gonna be essentially the same movement on our elbows or hands, except that leg is gonna be completely straight. And it's just gonna tap the ground, lift to your highest point. And you don't need to force it up there. Wherever it stops is where you squeeze that glute muscle and you keep it going. Let's bring that right leg out there. Here we go. Inhale, tighten that core, press through those shoulders, lift. Tap and lower, lift, lower. Keeping that leg as flexed as you can, think very straight, point that toe. It'll help engage all those muscles in that leg. 10 seconds. Hold it at the top, hold, and pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Yikes, I felt that one. Especially in that left hip, it is super normal to feel it in the opposite hip as well. All right, left side. Here we go. Left leg, extend it out. Nice and straight and lift and lower. Try to keep those hips square to the floor. So don't let it open up to the side. And lift, hold it at the top. Pulse, one, two, three, four, five, and bring it down. Come back to a seated position. We are almost there. Good, got some time. Next are rainbows. So essentially same type of movement. Instead of going up and down, we are gonna go side to side. So think of two points, one on your right side, one on your left side. It's just hopping up and over, up and over. Literally just making an arch with that leg. All right, let's bring that right foot out. Bring it up, squeeze, keep it tightened. Bring it over to the right, tap, up and over to the left, tap. And repeat. Take them nice and slow. And last one. And break. No pulsing with those ones. Ooh. 
All right, we are almost there. We have our left leg. And then we just have our press pulls and our sag stretch. And you're free. All right, left leg, here we go. Extend it out and lift side to side. Really squeeze that leg, squeeze that glute at the top. Core is engaged. We got seven seconds. And break. All right, we are doing good. All right. Do some pretzels. So let's start with our right leg in front. We will work our left first. So find a nice comfy sag position. If that works for you, it can be a closer sag, it can be wider, whatever works. We're gonna lean a little bit over that right knee. And then from here, we are just going to lift our foot off the ground and lower, lift and lower. So that rotation is coming from our hip. Three, two, one. Now we are gonna lift our knee. So keep that toe on the ground, lift the knee. Kind of like a half of a clamshell. Six, seven, and eight. We're gonna lift that entire leg off the ground. Lift one. Two bonus points if you can take your hands off the mat. This is very hard. <laughs> Down if you need it. Six, seven, eight. We're gonna lift that leg up and hold it there. Flex that foot, bring it behind you forward and back as if you were going to kick something behind you over boom for three two one and bring it down switch legs left leg in front right leg behind all right leaning towards that left knee Lift that right foot off the ground the best you can. My right leg is not really. There we go. Four more. Two. One. And lift that knee up. Keeping the toe down. Just a little bit. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lift that entire leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it up. Flex your foot. Press to the back. Press two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Go ahead and come into a butterfly position. Those really help with mobility as well as stretching and increasing some of the strength and the ligaments around your hips. But those sometimes, if you feel like they don't do much for you, you may be very flexible, um, but those are really good for mobility as well. So let's come into our butterfly position. Let's get our back as flat as we can, like you're sitting up against a wall. Shoulders roll them up, back, and down. And from here, curve over. Nice big C-shape in that back. And 
from here, we are going to lay it on our back and stretch out our hip. Let's bring our right foot over our left knee. Grab behind that left thigh and pull that leg in. You can use that right elbow to help press that right knee out to the side. And release slowly and switch legs. Left leg over the right, grab behind the right, and pull it back. All right, bring both legs up into the air. Take a nice little stretch here. You can keep the knees bent, bring those toes, flex the feet until you feel that stretch behind your hamstring. Try to straighten them if you can. Roll those ankles around and shake it out. And that is time for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for my bar class little mini bar class. Don't forget to drink water today. Maybe do some push-ups. Get crazy. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody. <laughs>